Well, if you have the same problem as me, waiting for the MacBook Pro 16-inch in 2019, and it's not coming, obviously, uh, there's a solution if you want to remote control your Win notebook, like Sidecar in Apple, with an iPad. So, use the iPad to control your DAW, like Cubase or Arturia plugins and whatever is on the desktop of Windows by an iPad. It's possible without Sidecar and uh, the software for it is called Duet. It's running on here and you just have to start it. It, w it takes a little bit of time. You see, starting Duet. So this is my uh, notebook, Win 10. Uh, I've got a mini v version V3 running on it and this is a big screen and here down here is this. And if I put this over here, you, you see what's happening. You see down there it's coming onto the iPad. And on the iPad I can play it. You only need uh, lightning or um, USB-C uh, connect. Your iPad best would be an uh, iPad Pro uh, to the PC. Run Duet. Uh, you can download load it from their server. Well, you only have to go to this Duet uh, display on your Windows uh, and uh, download the EXE file and install it there. After that, you go to the App Store of um, Apple and download it and install it. And then you, you get along like I, I just showed you. You connect it. Connect both together, start do it, and you just have to scale everything a little bit uh, depending on which iPad you use. So I'm going to show you some examples, and this is a real good solution, so don't have to wait uh, for the Mac Pro. I'll buy something else. Sorry, Apple, I'm fed up with this waiting stuff and, and these rumors and everything. So I buy for half the price a, a netbook. Or notebook with 20, 33 gigabytes of RAM or 64 and uh, run this and I'm happy with that. Maybe you too. Well here we go. I got uh, Cubase running normally on a Win 10 PC uh, notebook and I connected it with the iPad via Lightning. Uh, you also can do it via Wi-Fi and what we have it, it's just a touch screen you see I can touch it here and uh, even the mixer, if I go into the mixer, uh, I can do everything like panning and so on. Uh, the only backlash is it's, it's not multi-touch here. So I, I might uh, play something in here, but uh, I can't play chords or something like that. But uh, in the end, uh, I found it's very nice uh, to take the Apple Pencil and work, work with that. that. And if I have sound here, I can go in into the touch screen and do everything you can do normally with a, a touch screen but uh, well it's it's iOS get, getting into win so I can also change the resolution on both uh, and uh, uh, even do this here or go out of the mixer and start and stop everything and go back or go here forth uh, go in so so it really works out of the box it, it's no problem at all uh, and it's it's a wonderful remote control, uh, but best would be a, an iPad Pro. If you have a big iPad, then would be best because uh, this is a 1024 resolution. You get a better resolution, it's bigger, and you don't have to scale it differently. So what we also can do, I uh, threw in uh, a modular by Arturia, and uh, you can see, you can uh, get in here and scroll through the whole thing and uh, even you can play it here on the screen of the iPad and best thing is um, with this modular that I can rearrange it here uh, the different cables somewhere and, uh, uh, else I put it here and uh, so uh, it's no problem at all to manipulate everything here um, like also the filters, the envelopes and everything can be manipulated and go into different programs you see, this is really great uh, opportunity to cope with these bigger systems on a touch screen. Uh, you have, uh, as if you were working with the modular on the iPad, the look and feel is kind of the same. And even the latency is not that bad uh, to get into uh, here. You see, you see, it really, really works uh, quite nicely. So. Um, 
all this since everything uh, also Ableton everything works uh, within Windows 10 and I remote control it via the iPad and especially mixing in Cubase and so forth it's really really nice and it's a nice possibility